Hello, my name is Haley Windiate, and today I will be demonstrating Bernoulli's principle using a spool of thread, a piece of construction paper, and a pin with a little ball on the end. Now before I explain Bernoulli's principle, I want to demonstrate what will happen when I insert the pin into the piece of construction paper, and I put that into the hollow part of the spool, and I suck inwards, I take the air inwards. The suction I am creating is enough to keep this piece of paper in place even though gravity wants it to move downwards. So since we know gravity wants it to move downwards, what do we think would happen when I blow into the spool? It didn't do what we were expecting it to do. I would expect it to drop, but it doesn't. I'm blowing into air into this thing. Why isn't the piece of construction paper dropping? This is because of Bernoulli's principle. And that principle states when a fluid is met with high speed, it is also acting simultaneously with a decrease in pressure. So when I blow into the spool of thread, I'm blowing with a high velocity, which is met by a decrease in pressure on top of this piece of paper. The air is flowing out from this point and flowing all the way out every direction from the piece of paper. So we're seeing low pressure on top of the paper. However, we're also seeing normal atmospheric pressure on top or on the bottom of the piece of paper. And the pressure is actually what keeps this piece of paper holding in its place. And even though the airflow will create an impulse to the paper, the Bernoulli effect is greater than that impulse and it will hold the piece of paper in place. Thanks for watching.